My friends in Jesus and Mary, we're going to start with a very elementary question today. When was the last time you said thank you to the Mother of God? When was the last time you said to Our Lady, thank you not just for what you've done to me today, but for all the graces you've given me for my life? Hello and welcome to Mary Cass. This is Dr. Mark Miravalli, Professor of Theology and Mariology at the Franciscan University of Steubenville. You might be saying, well, that's kind of a patronizing or, a, or such a fundamental question. But it's a question we all have to examine. Because not just during times of seasons like Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter, but throughout the year, we have to examine that question. Do we express thanks to the Mother of God for all the graces and blessings, the protections, the gifts she's given us throughout our life? And I want to begin with a little story, which many of you probably have already heard. But it's a, it's a story about the man on the corner. And in a given neighborhood, there was a man on the corner who was shunned by the other people in the neighborhood, who very much kept to himself, who was very much a loner. And a little girl had the idea to ask her mother when they were baking cookies, what about sending some cookies to Mr. Smith? And the mother thought for a moment and thought, well, that would be a great grace. That would be a nice thing to do. Do you want to do that, honey? And the little girl said, yes, mommy, I would. So after they baked the cookies, the little girl went down and tapped on the windowsill and the front door of Mr. Smith and knocked for a while, but nobody answered. So she thought, well, I'm just going to leave the cookies there and see if they're gone. Well, it wasn't 15 minutes later that she doubled back and the cookies were gone. And the plate was left there. So she decided to do the same thing the following week. And she knocked on the door, uh, on the window, and again, no answer, left the cookies. And once again, shortly afterwards, the cookies were gone. Well. The third time she knocked on the door and lo and behold, Mr. Smith answered and said, yes. And she said, I just wanted to give these cookies to you. And he said, okay. And he took the cookies, didn't thank her. But once again, the plate was left uh, empty of the cookies. Well, through a process of this happening week after week, finally, Mr. Smith began to talk to the little girl and actually to thank her for the cookies. Well. One week, the family of the little girl uh, were on vacation and there wasn't the opportunity of bringing the cookies by. So the following week, um, before the usual day when she would come by, Mr. Smith opened the door as the little girl was walking by and screamed out at the top of his lungs, Little girl, where are my cookies? And Mr. Smith grew to expect those cookies and lost the gratitude for the cookies. Now, our simple question is, do we ever say that to Our Lady? Where are my favors? Where are my cookies? Where are the things that I'm used to receiving from you? And you know, my friends, we have to use God's gift of memory to look back at the great graces Our Lady has given to each one of us. Because you know what? We've all had miracles in our lives. I don't mean talking about calling Lourdes Commission and submitting them or calling the local bishop in terms of things like apparitions. Each one of us know that there's been times when we've received a gift from Our Lady that was only explainable through God's direct intervention and, and through Our Lady. That's what a miracle is. Something explainable only through the, the direct intervention of something supernatural. So take a moment right now and think back. Think back when you went to an apparition site. The incredible graces you received there. Did you thank her then? Do you thank her now? Think back at, at a time of your life, maybe a family member, maybe with your mom or your dad, or maybe with children, when you begged Our Lady for help and she interceded. Did you thank her then? And do you thank her now? What about the daily things we've grown to expect? like the man and the cookies. Are we perhaps even subconsciously getting accustomed to the generosity of Our Lady 
without thanking her? What happens when the cookies don't come? What happens when we have a day when it's pure cross? Are we saying to Our Lady, where are those cookies? And these, uh, my friends, are, are necessary questions because we never want to grow expecting in an in gratuitous way the graces and the gifts of Our Lady. We always want to say thank you. To say thank you and to mean thank you, we have to examine our hearts. And that's how we have to use God's gift of memory to look back and see how many times our mother has interceded either powerfully with Cana events in our life, with marriages, with children, with parents, with jobs, with tragedies. And how many times are we called to thank her for the daily events, the daily graces that perhaps in our own humanness we've grown accustomed to. Let's today make a special Marian examination of conscience. Let's today think of our lives. Even the graces starting from our baptism or even more fundamental, our very life, which is a gift from God. But remember, who gives us the Savior? It's Mary. Who made it possible for us to accept grace, to be baptized, to say yes to uh, redemption? It's Mary, because without the Savior, who comes to us for Our Lady, we don't have a redemptive life. We don't have a life that is saved, that's possible to have a, a supernatural participation. We don't get the foretaste of heaven on earth that each of us get when we're in grace if it wasn't for our mother. Today, in a spirit of authentic thanksgiving, let's say thank you, mother, for every grace we've received in the past, every special gift that our mother has given us, every gift we get today in, in what are now becoming normal graces because we're so used to them, and let's never underestimate the generosity of Our Lady. And let's end our thanksgiving for Our Lady by saying, Mother, I thank you for all the graces which I've never attributed to you. I thank you for all those ways that I'm only going to know once I get to heaven that it was you. It was your special maternal intercession that helped me this day and that day and most every day. I thank you for the times I didn't say thank you. And I ask forgiveness for the times I took your gifts for granted. And I praise God in heaven for the gift that you are, because it's a gift that came from Calvary when Jesus told each one of us to behold your mother. Thank you, mother, for all the gifts you've given us. This is Mark Mervali saying thanks and God bless.